Hey guys, this is Jesse Lee. Super excited to talk to you guys today. I had a request from somebody on one of my little videos. He said, you should do more videos on the brushes. That being the case, I thought today we could talk about the applications of brushwork in a particular type of Latin music called Samba music. Now with Samba music, just like any other music that's not native to America, oftentimes they don't use drum set. Uh, if you look at the big batucada samba lines, it's a whole parade of people. Each one of them are carrying one drum that they're, they're specified on a specific part. Whereas the American drum set, we are trying to take a bunch of different parts and be able to play them with one person. So that means we have to take some of those rhythms and adapt them to drum set. So it may not sound exactly the same as a samba line, but the idea is that we're getting across those same rhythms. One of the drums that we have to figure out how to emulate is a drum called the surdo. Now, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, and for all of you who are Portuguese aficionados, I apologize. But the, the surdo, uh, it's a big drum. It's, it's a very low, bassy pitch, and uh, one of the, the common rhythms that's used is this one right here. Okay, so if we're going to try to adapt that to drum set, we could try playing that on the floor tom like I just did, or because our hands are going to be busy doing other things later, what we can do is play the surdo rhythm but on the bass drum. That sounds like this. So the next part that we got to adapt to the drum set is a rhythm called the parchido alto. And this rhythm is usually played on the go go bells. It's uh, which are there are two of them. There's a high one and a low one. But if if we're just adapting the rhythm, we're not going to play the different pitches. We're just going to try to emulate that rhythm on the snare drum. So that's what this sounds like. Okay, now that we got the Parchito Alto, here's where the fun starts. This is where we can start using the fancy brushwork. I've done some tutorials in the past. You can check those out. I use some of the same strokes here. So, um, basically, I'm not going to go into too much detail now. But, as you can see, as I'm doing these, this brushwork, as I'm doing these eighth notes, my right hand and left hand are staying out of the way of each other. So we're going to take that brush pattern and we're going to apply the Parchito Alto rhythm to it, which sounds like this. So if you roll all of these things together, you get the bass drum part, you get the brushes with the Parchito Alto, this is what it sounds like. So, that's how you play Samba with brushes. So that was a, a pattern I adapted. If you guys want to learn more about Latin music, there's a wonderful drummer named Dom Moyo, M-O-I-O. -O. He was my teacher, and he's an unbelievable drummer. So check him out if you want to learn a little bit more about how to apply Latin rhythms to drum set. And uh, if you like my videos, you could subscribe. That, that always helps me. Uh, Jesse Lee the drummer is the YouTube channel and if you want to find me on Instagram and Twitter my names on there are JL kick boom so hope you like the video here's a little bit more grooving for you I hope you like it 